Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about how to use screens to create pretty much whatever you want on your Rempart games. Before I get started a huge thank you to all of my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom screen at the end of the video. And of course an even bigger thank you to everybody for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That of course really helps me out. So before we get started I want to explain the concepts that we generally work with in Rempi screen language and it's very similar if you're familiar with CSS then you'll get this no problem. Uh, essentially what you have is you can set up a frame on your screen which is just a box and it is an empty box. It has a background which you can choose whether or not to use and then you fill that frame with whatever content you like and our primary content containers that we have inside the frame is vertical boxes, horizontal boxes and grids. Now we're not going to go too much into grids in this tutorial but we are going to talk about H boxes and V boxes and the beauty of these things is is that you can actually put them inside each other. So I'm just going to grab my brush tool here I'm going to switch this to black and I'm just going to draw some stuff on the screen. So in a H box you've got a box and inside this box, you can put whatever content you have. Currently, the box will be only as big as the padding values that you have set. But essentially, everything that you put in there, whether that be a picture or a line of text or a text button, all of that is going to be placed in the box one after the other vertically. So what happens if we want our stuff to be aligned vert uh, horizontally? We just create an H box, then like this and so if we want to put our picture inside like that and then our lines of text will essentially be laid out like this inside the box and it will obviously take into account the padding values around the uh, picture and essentially the box will size itself to the largest item within it plus the value of the padding but we can obviously overcome certain things so what happens if we want to put things horizontally inside our V box so we'll create our V box and inside our V box we're going to create multiple H box like so so we've got one there and we've got one there like that and then we can have our picture inside there our lines of text yada 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 we just have nothing but lines of text in this H box it doesn't really matter and we can change the size of these boxes by defining their X size and Y size. We can also put in X alignment so we can put these things on the screen. So you can use X alignment or you can use X position. All sounds a bit crazy, but let's go a bit further. So we've got some code here and we've got a screen setup room menu here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a frame like so. And then inside that frame, we're actually going to create an H box like that and then inside that H-box we're going to have multiple V-box three and we've got to remember to not indent them because they're not inside each other they're just inside the H-box like so and you can set it out like that with no problem at all and what you can actually do is you can say inside frame let's just say background none and then that just means that there will be no background to the frame so that we can put in whatever we want or we have nothing we can just have the text hovering either way is fine so inside our v-box we're just going to put a bunch of gobbledygook we're going to put some text make it small t for text and we're just going to put of text then we're just going to copy that going to copy that now if we were to actually run our code When we hit start, as you can see now, we've got a V box with no padding currently, hence why the text looks like it's basically just a string of text. So let's change that a little bit. So what we can do is we're going to add some padding to our frame. So we're going to say X padding. Let's just go with 20 and then Y padding. We're going to go with, let's say, 100. Lovely jubbly. So we're going to run that project again. And when we hit start, now we can see that we've got our 20 padding there and we've got our uh, 100 padding at the top there. Fine, that's great. So that's fine, we can do that with formatting. 
So what happens if we have different things in here? We're just going to say longer in that one. And that. Fine, we can do that. And now we're going to put in a quick run. We'll just check that that's looking as we want it to. So we hit start again. There you go. So it's still just a massive line of text. Mm -hmm. Great. So what we can do is we can actually increase the size of our V-Box. So we can say X size or X maximum, minimum. Let's say X minimum. And we're going to make this a minimum of 300 pixels. Copy that. I'm going to say this one's got a minimum of 500 and this one's got a minimum of 400. Hopefully that adds up to less than the value of the screen. And we do a reload. Now you can see that we've got nice big spaces between our text. So we can actually define how wide our V box is, how wide it's going to be. And we can obviously do the same with Y minimum and Y maximum as well. So we can set them to be no bigger or smaller than that. So what happens if we change this to say X minimum 100, at X maximum 150, and then we run that. So we've got that running. And now you can see that the text actually wraps within that container if we set the maximum size to be smaller than that, which is fantastic. So now I've got this text box here and I want the text to be in the middle. So what can we do? The first one, simply say uh, X align five and hopefully that will do what we want it to do. And there you go. So now that text is moved and it's in the middle of its V box. And we can do the same thing with pictures. We can stick pictures in there and we can align them to the left or right or middle of their V box or H box or whatever it is that you want. This opens up a significant number of possibilities in laying out your screen because you can do this with text, you can do it with text buttons, you can do it with images, you can do it with image buttons. You can put grids inside V boxes, you can put H boxes inside grids inside V boxes. The list goes on and on. So the opportunity for you to make the screen as you want it to is there. Possibilities are endless. All that remains is for you guys to experiment and work out what it is you want to do. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. It means a lot to me. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to expand on anything for you. I think I've given you all of the information that you really need. You should be able to go away and put something together now. Either way, I'll see you soon. Until then, take good care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.